Hey everyone, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. I'm your host and uh, you're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx, New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Now, leading things off, our first guest is the director of St. John's Fisher College, the executive leadership EDD program. And she's joined by an alumni of the program to highlight how impactful it has been developing leaders in the field of education. It's a wonderful thing. So please welcome to the show, Dr. Josephine Moffitt and Dr. Greta Strong. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. So tell us about this wonderful program that you guys are engaged in or working with. Thank you very much for inviting us, first of all, Dr. Lee. The St. John Fisher Doctoral Program is an incredibly unique program one that was founded about 15 years ago by Dr. Sam Walton, who was the um, deputy commissioner for New York State Education Department. He was also the first African-American man in that position. And what he found was that when he became the founding um, dean of St. John Fisher Education, Depart Education Department, what he found was that he could not hire enough minorities or women as faculty because he just couldn't find them. Um, they just were not applying. Yeah. And when he did a little bit of research, he found out that um, programs were not suited and put together to support. So our program is really very strongly suited to support the mid-level um, educator or executive leader who is looking to advance in their field. So yeah. it is a, a very different kind of program and how it is situated and put together. And um, can you describe the goals of the program and uh, how many students it services? Hey, well, I can tell you that just from the, um, the site that we are in right now, um, which is the Lower Westchester site, on the campus of Iona College, we have serviced over 200 students. Um, it is not a new program, so we have been around and we've been very, very successful in um, being able to graduate over 90% of our students who apply, which is an incredible graduation rate. Yeah. Um, our goals really are to make sure that we provide the kind of support that will allow students to finish a program in an unusually short period of time. It is a very, very rigorous program, but you actually can finish it in 28 months, which is Ooh. very, very different than the four to 10 years, which most programs are particular wow. yeah. and to finish. And if you remember your experience and I remember mine, it took me a little longer than that. And you're there with uh, Dr. Greta Strong, and she's been strong in education. She wears a number of hats. Tell us uh, your position and what you're doing, Doctor. Okay, so my position is as, um, as uh, sorry, an assistant professor of community outreach teaching in neurology at Wild Cornell Medicine. So that is my main position, and I also act as an adjunct professor at Metropolitan College of New York. Yeah. And then you were you were, you were really rolling when we were off camera. You were telling us about a number of things that you <laughs> that you have a title for. Yes. Tell us so, about. Yeah. So I'm also the chair of diversity, equity, and inclusion in my department at Wild Cornell Medicine. I chair a community outreach business resource group under the Office of Institutional Equity, and I am also involved in quality administration. And tell us about your experience at the St. John Fisher College. Oh, I had a wonderful experience. Program. Yes, it was amazing to be in a program where you sat with 29 other doctoral students. And um, it, you know, the, the level of thinking and the level of concern for self and community was amazing. It, uh, the environment was very inclusive, very engaging and nurturing. And that to me was one, you know, these were some of the hallmarks of the program that I'll never forget. Yeah. And is it, this is sort of, you have a full-time job also, right? This I do have a full-time job. People who are working? Yes, but uh, we have class, we had classes 
on Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. And I believe that if someone wants to get ahead, you know, that they must, you know, make a certain amount of sacrifice. But, exactly. but yeah, but there we would go and we would have a uh, lunch with each other on a Saturday. So the environment was conducive to learning, you know, and being with a cohort of buddies who were like-minded. So it, it you know, I, I think these are the things about a program like this that you could never ever get um, anywhere else. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, Dr. Moffitt, um, tell us, um, what are some of the requirements for applying for this uh, particular program? Okay, before I get into the requirements, if I could just say that um, this is the other reason that it's so very different, this kind of a program is that we also focus on many different leadership positions. Uh, so that um, my background is pre-K-12 education and I, and I left as a superintendent. So it just doesn't encourage people who have my background or Greta's background in higher education um, we have many people from um, the um, nonprofit sector, criminal justice. So we have chiefs of police, we have CEOs in the program. We have people who have graduated and they are presidents of universities and superintendents. So they're from many, many different fields. And the, the, the linchpin is social justice, which is strong in our program. And also the linchpin is executive leadership. And so we look for those kinds of qualities in, in our students. So you asked originally, um, what are the requirements? The requirements yeah. are that um, you have a master's degree. You need to have a master's degree from an accredited institution. You also should have some kind of leadership in your background. Now that leadership can be in a very traditional kind of sense. Like um, we, as I said before, we have people who lead departments or um, you know, they might lead a hospital or you know, that kind of thing. But we also have people who have been in charge of let's say the Girl Scouts or some kind of a nonprofit area or who have been leaders in their church. And so we have many reverends who have graduated, doctor reverends who have um, graduated from our program. So it really is very, very unique. So we do um, require a, um, you to you know, do your online application, pull together all of your references and your transcripts and all of that. We also ask for you to come in and meet with us because we wanna make sure that the fit is right, that the fit is right for you and that the fit is right for us too. Because once we commit to accepting you into our program, we're also committing to doing everything that we can to make sure that you are successful and graduate yeah. from this program. This is not an ABD program. This is one where you come in and we make sure that you finish. There you go. And what about financial aid? You offer it there or you come in with, how's it paid for? We do have some people who apply for financial aid. We have a fully functioning financial aid department and um, it, they will go through the process with you. We also have a list of scholarships yeah. and grants that once you are accepted into the program, we do offer that to you and you can apply for that. Many yeah. of our people also are very, you know, they are people who are movers and shakers. And so they come in and, and they um, look around for scholarships and, and they find ways of, um, of um, supporting themselves through, through this process. Um, we have, and just as, as an aside, um, we have um, one young lady, her name is Dr. Carla Smith. She is going to be on the, um, you are supporting her, as a matter of fact, through the Bronx Net, um, uh, right. through um, the power of, of women of Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And she is one of the leaders that you are going to be featuring. And, um, you know, they find a way to get through this program um, because they're such incredible people. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Straw, how, how long did it take you to finish again? Did you say 28? 28 months, yes. 28 months. 28 yeah. months rigorous it's a train when it pulls out of the station mm. it doesn't stop but yep. i was ready for the ride and uh, i finished in 28 years and when you finish how is that feeling i mean it's a feeling, feeling of, of completion 
you can't find words for it. Uh, <laughs> I was exhausted, but I was elated at the same time. And yeah. I was ready to, um, you know, continue on my journey and uh, the exposure uh, and the depth of social justice uh, that you uh, learn about, you know, looking at the world through political, economic, social and technological uh, frames, that was just amazing, you know, to put that all together and to- uh, mm -hmm. Are we gonna be looking for you to run for something soon? Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> I, I am already in the running uh, with my students, you know, getting <laughs> them to have a strong sense of social responsibility, you yes. know? So, I mean, that, that that's my run, you know, using uh, one person at a time to make a big difference. Thank you guys so much. Where can we go to learn more? Well, um, you can go to our site, of course, and um, look under the St. John Fisher um, Executive Leadership EDD program. Um, we are having an information session right here at Iona College mm -hmm. on uh, March 1st and online on March 8th. We're also having a alumni mixer. We have an incredible alumni network and they are very supportive to us because they understand um, how much they have gotten from the program and they give back so much. So they are having a mixer on the 26th of um, February from 10 o'clock until, until 12. So if you, anybody would like to um, stop in and talk to us, we're more than happy to see them. On top of that, they can contact either me um, directly uh, at J. Moffett, M-O-F-F-E-T-T, -T, at St. John Fisher, S-J-F-C dot E-D-U. We will give them the information. And we have so many people who are willing to, um, you know, vouch and, and speak about our program. And we welcome people to come in and hear about us. And all of that is on the website, right? It's all on the website, absolutely. And the website, again, is? Okay, it's um, basically... It's part of the St. John Fisher Executive Leadership Program, EDD. Okay. John Fisher College EDD Program. Mm -hmm. Josephine, Moffitt, Dr. Okay. Josephine Moffitt and mm -hmm. Dr. Greta Strong. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Thank you right. so much. Got to pay you guys a visit. Absolutely. <laughs> Please come. Yes. We'd like right. to welcome you. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for, and you're always welcome to come back. You know, you're, you're part of the family now. Well, okay. we are Bronxites, both of us. So All right. We feel, we feel very strongly that we are part of the family. And yeah. Thank you for your service. We'll take a break right here. More open on the way next.